Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Cult of the Lamb. In the last video, we unlocked lots of new buildings and stuff. We've upgraded a little bit. Oh, Jamajul would like something. Psst, leader, rumor has it for Grease a spy sent by an enemy cult to undermine your great power. You should go speak with them and see what they have to say for themselves. Okay. Hello, leader. What a beautiful day in paradise. Might I say you look at, do look extra glorious today. Well, obviously, they're hiding something. You must believe me, leader. Okay. Well, you're leveling up like an absolute monster, aren't you, Jabba Joel? I was hoping... Um, I had a little bit of a plan. What I wanted to do was uh, rename them. And it turns out I can't do that once they're initiated. So, but what I've done is I've got a list. Um, let me pause it for a sec while I talk. Um, I've got a little notepad file and I took the names of people who I know watch this channel on my Discord server and people who comment, those of you at home who comment on my videos on this server and I thought we'll name the cultists after you folks. And my plan was to rename the cultists that I already have, but uh, since it seems I can't do that, We'll just be renaming ones that we acquire from now on. Because then I thought it'll be much funnier <laughs> when I have to sacrifice you lot. <laughs> I thought that'd be much better, so... Yeah. Alright, we're moving on to the second stage, Anura. Thanks, gang. See you later. Okay. Vampiric Axe 4. So that's the new upgrade we just got. Where we get a heal, potentially. And we've also got Maelstrom 4 as well. And they'll strike out in 4 directly. Let's try it out. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh, We've got a new, uh, a new thing. What's this say? Entering the lands of the Bishop Hecat, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Well, I mean, they said that last time, but I seem fine. Oh, I can get my um, thing back from that, that's cool. Right, let's get going. Oh, hey Hecat. Oh, that's a froggy. Pathetic, sniveling, vile puppet to the red crown, you have felled the youngest of us. We are the bishops of the old faith. Sounds like Jabba, but I believe Haket is meant to be a lass, right? We are protected against heresies such as yours, we are the guardians of the true word, and we shall not tolerate such blasphemy. Your sins are many, and for that your loyal... Oh no! Your loyal followers... Oh no! Atiti! Where am I, leader? Atiti, I'm sorry. No. Oh no, Atiti. Haket! How could you? I'm uh, like, that's effective because I I now I hate her cat. <laughs> also, look at these mushrooms with the people like melded into them. It's terrifying. I had a theory. It was just it turned out to be. Oh wow! All right, all right. I wonder how often I've got my healing back already, so. Oh, this place is... Yeah, so what I'm expecting is for this area to be, um... F larger, basically. Hey, Clownick. Nice to see you coming with me. Maybe we'll get some new tarot cards. Oh, this acid should be an acid ever was. So I've got poison and I've got... Um... Vampiric. It's a pretty cool little combo. So I should mention my um my thumb on my left hand, for whatever reason, is absolutely killing me. <laughs> it's really bad. Whoa, what's going on there? So it's not making this uh particularly easy for me. <laughs> I've been <laughs> I mean I've been rubbing it all day, I don't want to tell you. That hasn't really helped. I don't know what's going on with it. It really hurts. I did something in my workout. I don't know what it was, but I did something. 
some of those spores, a little bit of grass, some mushrooms and some grass. What more does a man need? I know that was pointless. But I just, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I ended up taking damage for being stupid. I'm still only getting three coins. I'm surprised I'm not getting more. Mushroom pillar to raise your flag. Oh, we do have a little flag. That's cool. Also, there's a really cool thing I noticed when I loaded into the game. I'll try to catch it next time. Um, when I loaded into the game, uh, it came up with the Dark Brotherhood. It came up with my cult name. Like, you know, in the text that kind of pops up where it's, it sort of fades over the screen. It came up with Dark Brotherhood just like that. So I thought it was quite nice. Okay, this bit's a little teeny tiny. Um, I'm going to go for the question mark. Hello? Choose half a blue heart or a full blue heart. Certainly seemed like an obvious choice. I was like, yeah, I mean, it seems obvious. So how is the game going to punish me for that? You know? I get more now. Yeah. I do like that these are all modeled after the statues as well. Or the, the heretics. We call them heretics. I have a, a slight suspicion that um, that uh, the, the, the one who waits is going to turn out to be the final boss. It seems like a fairly classic setup, you know? Survive. Can I poison the cheeky little blighter? Man, my thumb is killing me. What have I done? Ah, it's really annoying on like curls and stuff like that. Oh, this is my left hand is a mess. At least it's my left hand. If it was my right hand, people can make far too many jokes for my liking. Get my health back, please. What is the point in this axe if I'm not going to heal? <laughs> Oh, hello. Uh, right, so we've got Hounds of Fate 5. Multiple projectiles that seek out enemies. That sounds cool. Crusader's Blade 5. Bane Sword 5. Well, I think given I've got a healing... I'm going to go for this one, because I've already got a healing weapon. And I've already got poison, so that makes Bane seem a little less useful. Because Bane is just poison weapons, right? But I've already got the poison effects. So why pick up two poison effects? Whereas now, I've got healing and poison. Maybe a little bit less damage, but overall, probably a better combo. Alright, let's try this out. And my thought was, as well, that a an auto-aiming ability like that, an auto-aiming curse, would be really useful against a, a boss. Intrinsically. That was my theory. There's lots of theories that didn't work out, you know? Oops, it is it. Hello, Gusan. <laughs> I figured out. Oh, he's got an egg. I wasn't sure if I needed to smash it or not. <laughs> Oh, I do. If I smash the egg, no babies. You really don't generate much um, further mid combat. Because I, I, I used my abilities right at the start and then I could not use them again in that entire fight. <laughs> It makes curses feel a bit pointless, but I'm assuming maybe I'll get upgrades that make it possible to generate more forever. Hello, buddy. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right, what do we want? Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Pum Wait, what? I mean, they're clearly different, but whatever. 
or stone. I mean, I guess I already have access to stone, but I don't have pumpkin seeds. I think those are probably just pumpkins. No, it just looks like that's ten pumpkin seeds, and that's eight pumpkin seeds. Okay. Weirdly enough, I'm going to go for the uh, ten. All right, we've got two of those uh, commandment tablets now. We'll use one a day. There we go. First stage done. I am considering upping the game onto hard difficulty. Um, I've been thinking about it. I'd probably stop getting my little bonus, like I'm getting here, you know, these 20% and stuff like that. But the game is pretty easy so far, it must be said. You see me here in chains, reduced to nothing, but it has not always been this. I was bound to this wretched place by the bishops of the old faith. They betrayed me and left me to rot. Each of the four chains that bind me are guarded by one of the bishops. Yeah, we kind of know this, buddy. Destroy the bishop, he break the chain. Break door four and I will be freed. I give you life anew, vessel, and now you must repay the debts. You know what must be done. To defeat the bishops, you'll need to become stronger. Oh no. Sacrifice a follower to absorb more power. This will aid you in your quest to free me. Sacrifice a follower to grow your new strength and unlock new abilities and weapons. Oh no, it's actually useful as well. That's even worse. Good, good job I didn't start naming you lot yet. <laughs> Someone's going to have to perish. Hey, look at that. The Dark Brotherhood. How cool is that? So you write whatever you want. You can get really funky with it. 70? Thanks, gang. Right. Prison. Seems a bit harsh. Shelter. Tempting. Lump no, I want the Lumbyard and the Stone Mine. I think I already decided that. What is the summoning circle? Ah, they come with me. That's cool. Missionary. It's scared. I don't want them to die. <laughs> I'm going to get the lumber yard. No, I'm going to get the, the stone mine because I feel like I've got less stone than I do in lumber. Okay, right. We need food first. Ah. Yeah, it's not chocolate block, but I got eight more. It's a nice little boat, because it didn't cost me anything, you know. Nice little bonus. Right, let's plant some pumpkin. I bet she knows. Bear with me. Okay, so let's get some food on, because they're going to die otherwise. I am. I was going to say I'm lacking ingredients, but I've got berries for days. I'm sorry, gang. I really am. You all eat up. Have a lovely time. Right. Hello. Gushan. Gushan. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Convert me to your cult and follow your teachings faithfully. Ah. Right. They're going to get renamed. So this first one is going to be... Some of you have really obnoxious names. <laughs> so I've kind of like jammed them together. Or tried to make something a little bit more like a actual name would be. So you're going to be Philly... Prentice. <laughs> Prentic, apparently, because I've hit my limit. Okay. Can't choose a thing. What we've got? We've got materialistic. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Oh, gain 10 faith instantly. That's cool. Now, faith is not that big a deal. So far, anyway. I haven't started murdering anyone yet, so. What is that? That's new. You go do that, right? They're all they're getting some food in. We need to do some tidy up. We need to do a sermon and all that kind of jazz as well. So let's go on to that. Oh, hello! Oh, they've left me. Uh, they've left me some fish. That's nice. Right. We've got a new follower. Right. Let, let's let's kill. Wait, no. We should do the sermon first. I'm gonna murder one of them because I'm curious. <laughs> but let's do the sermon first because then we'll get more faith from them. That's what a real cult leader would do. I would extract every ounce of faith from you before I sacrifice you. Surely that makes sense. I'm not going to tell them that I'm doing that, but that's never here nor there. Right, so. Let's, I, I think I'm going to do one of each of these. Let's go on to sustenance next, because food is actually 
not a problem, but it's becoming a thing a little bit. Perform a ritual at your temple to declare a fast. Followers will not eat or be hungry for three days. Unlock the feasting ritual. Hmm. That stops them being hungry. That, I mean, that again, that gains faith, which is maybe better. I do like fasting. I do approve of fasting. <laughs> My problem with this one, I suppose, like, right now, that one seems better if faith is, if faith is important, that one is better than that one, right? Right now, faith is not important. Like, it's been fine. Um, but I'm about to sacrifice someone, and I know that I didn't take the one that means sacrifice costs less faith. I think I'm gonna go feasting. I don't know. I'm sure some of these work together really well. Like, in retrospect, I probably would have taken the Sacrifice Doctrine instead, to be honest. But it's one of this. So that costs 75. Okay. The thing with that one is, just, I, I maybe would have done it then. There's no point in doing it, because we've got loads of bones. There's no point in doing it unless they're, like, at the bottom of that hunger, right? Ah. There's my Doctrines. Okay. I, I do want to sacrifice someone, because I've just got a new person as well, so... <laughs> um, I get 16 faith. You get more if they've ever been around for longer. I should sacrifice the oldest one, surely, because they'll die soon anyway. That's 35. That's Arty, And he's at the bottom of his leveling up, so he's not going to level up anytime soon. Oh, Arty. Look, Artie, this is a great honor for you, you know? This is... Yeah, you should be blessed. Give your life for the cause. Then we got a new thing. <laughs> totally value. What's this? Permanently gain half a heart. Three new curses. Yeah, I mean, being able to do four casts instead does sound pretty useful, but I am going to keep focusing on um, melee and hearts before anything else. Does sound useful, that one, though. You do get a decent chunk. Oh, I got some bones as well. <laughs> Alright, going back to bed. Right, uh, oh, the faith is low, though. Oh, it needs to assign you a bed. Well, see, now there's a free bed. Oh, let's fix that. Uh, who doesn't have a bed? What's your name, buddy? Oh, yeah, Phil the Ditch. Thank you. Philly, where are you, Philly? There you go, buddy. Should get me some faith back as well, I think. I need to restore their faith in me. We will do the um, we'll do the grain the grand feast one tomorrow, I think. It's gonna. It's a new day. God. Wait, did ah oh, beds collapsed? These bloody beds, man. Gonna have to get the shellers. So this stops happening. It's a pain in the ass. It's gonna be okay, gang. It's gonna be okay. There you go. Love me, love me. <laughs> but we can do another sermon already. Hopefully, that's how it works, right? As soon as it ticks into a new day, I think they maybe go a little bit too fast, personally. Really? Oh, <laughs> the temptation to sacrifice one of them <laughs> is overwhelming. No, we're gonna have a feast. Make them love me again. Look at this delicious, gracious meal we've received. Get nice and fat for daddy. <laughs> there we go. It's more like it. 
And we can do another um, crown upgrade thing. Oh no, I can't. Oh, it's not a day thing, it's a time in general. Okay, well, I'll do that when I come back from the next one. What's up, Grr 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 Grr? Pardon me, Lita. I would love some of the flowers from Darkwood Dungeon. Sure. Can I not? I already have Camellia. Can I just like plant it anyway? I'm just gonna crush some mushies. Uh, so Camellia. I'm gonna need more farming plots at this rate. There are things I want to build. Um, well, mainly the the uh, the 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 the, the, the uh, uh, this. A follower will generate stone. So I want like a, a building section, you know, like a like a crafting area, or like a, a harvesting area. I might build two of these actually. Help me out, buddy. Dun, dun. Place is getting a little bit filthy as well. Pretty sure. Sure, that rabbit just went and defecated in the woods. <laughs> just putting it out there. Pretty sure that's what happened. I do like that if I wanted. I could just set these buildings up to go and then ignore them entirely. You know what I mean? As in, they would sort them out themselves. We Stop pooping! Did you poop? I mean, to be fair to them, at least, much like an animal would, they kind of have like a poop corner. You know what I mean? They go to the edge of the map to do it. They don't just drop it wherever they feel like, I suppose. Okay, so I want to assign some people to that instead of the general. The problem is I can't really remember what people are doing. Can I check my followers? What they're all up to? Oh. I wonder if I ever get to like choose a weapon permanently. Um... No, I don't think so. It's hard to always tell what people are doing. Right, you're over here though. I'm gonna help you out. Oh, let's clear this up first. All right, let's get, let, let's tag team this. It's gonna take bloody ages. <laughs> oh, it's not even moving. Oh God, fuck that. <laughs> no interest. It's hard for me to know. I feel like I'm racking the divine inspiration up so quickly. There we go, next level. What is that next thing? What is that? Refinery. Consecrate resources. It's fancy wood, fancy hay, fancy... Fancy stuff. Oh, you're already doing it. Oh, you're... Oh, sweet! Alright. Yeah, cool. I think that's. I think that's. I think that's really good. Um. Okay. I think we're ready to go back out again. Oh, let me see if I can do one of these. I don't know what the time was like on it. No, ages yet. The red is actually. I thought the red was going the other direction. Okay, let's go. Oh, I've got a timer on my my little mission as well. Gotta find some camellia. Wait, where's Darkwood? You know. Oh, hello. Yes, I can spell tasty critters near. Hmm. I stay here. There's enough for you and enough for me. Don't let your followers wander away. You never know who might be hungry nearby. Oh. I can buy followers. I don't need followers that badly, though. Where's Darkwood? Are you Darkwood? Oh, I have to go back here. So how does this work, then? Where do I go? Because I've done this before. Right, you're going to tell me, aren't you? You're a good egg. Winds of change blow, dost thou sense it? Around us, I'm only doing the voice for one line. <laughs> Around us the world creaks and turns, our four is stood immobile. Motionless centuries grow rust. Now, Leshy hath fallen, and here upon the how inhabitants of this land begin their fight anew to presume power. Ye shall not find them so easily dispatched again. Oh, so the area's going to get harder. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, hello. Tempest Gauntlets. Yo. Nice. And Ikor. Very interesting. Okay. So I'm very curious to uh, is how this works. 
But the idea that the enemies get harder coming back is cool. I like that. I, however, do not like the gauntlets. <laughs> right, we've got to keep an eye out for this, this stuff here. For, uh, for our good friend. Hey, Cloud Neck. Oh, what is that? Curses consume 75% less fervor. That is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Not that I love this, but... I mean, I say it's nuts, but I still don't feel like I'm gonna get that much use out of it. But it, it, it clearly... Oh, hello. Oh, baby! Alright, it's more like it. I was running a little low on money, it must be said. I really don't like the gauntlets. Like, that final attack is really good, but if you don't get it in, then it's a bit pointless. Much like many things in life, really. Because, and the problem with getting it in, shut up, is that, um, you know, enemies attack, enemies are moving, and you, you kind of have to commit to a fairly static combo, which obviously opens you up to die. Oh, that's nice, a statue of the mighty lamb. That's me, I'm the mighty lamb. So mighty, it's crazy. It's crazy how mighty I am. Uh, right. So that's food, lumber. Well, let's have a look up. Do I want a new follower? I wouldn't mind a new follower, I think, at this point. So I want to get over there. I don't think we need food that bad. Let's go, let's go this way. Get some lumber. Lumber's fine. Alright, tree. Just because you're here and it's rather suspicious, I'm going to ch chop you down. It's interesting. Can I do a bit of a timer as well? Because obviously we've got to get this quest done. I'm ashamed the devotion on those don't go up because the area got tougher. So I wonder if this gets tougher now every time I clear it. I wonder if there's any purpose in continuously clearing them. Oh! Overall weapon damage, 1.5 for sure. Now give me a weapon that I like. <laughs> if I get that final hit in, it is, it is insane damage. And also it's a little bit better in general now. We see what I mean, my insistence on trying to get that combo hit in <laughs> means I keep taking damage. Please give me a different weapon. What have we got? Bane axe. I want the. Uh, oh, I wanted a heal axe. This thing is going to hit like an absolute truck, though. Oh, you're new. Hello. Do I still need more? Uh... No, I've got them all. Cool. For Gree Gree. Gotta finish exploring, of course. It's it just isn't. The levels are a little bit simple, a little bit small. The sort of areas, again, compared to the likes of Hades or other similar games, which I think is a downside. Hello. But I'm enjoying it. Hapless Leshy, the youngest of the five, twas his eyes he lost. Temperamental Hecate with her throat cut neat. Cowardly Calamis, Calamar's ears torn from his head, and Shimura, once the brightest of the five, till their skull was split. See no evil, speak not, hear nothing, think none. The one who waits made it so. Okay, the use of the word five there is very interesting. I, I mean, the fact that they made it so as well. I mean, it's definitely suggesting that um, the one who waits below was one of the bishops originally and got cast out for some reason. But that reason is probably more obvious than you think. Well, no, it probably is as obvious as you think, to be fair. That's what I mean. I, I, from the very first second of the game, I thought, yeah, he's probably up to no good. <laughs> oh, it's 
a cow! Walk into it. Numpties. It's really good against enemies that stand still. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, not so much. So I wonder what the boss is going to be. It's okay, little moo cow. I've got a lovely cult you can be part of. Down you go. Alright, boss time. I don't know why I do this, but I just feel like I have to. <laughs> oh, whoa, what? I grow tired of you, little lamb. Oh, we just fight Lushy again. Interesting. I didn't expect that. Hey, Lush. Well, in theory, this should be really good against Lushy, right? Although it doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> in theory! <laughs> The little enemies definitely take more hits than they used to. Oh my god, <laughs> there's definitely more of them as well. Ah, oh, got hit. Twice. There's tons of the little bastards. Look at them! They're everywhere! Alright, alright, Leshy, alright, calm down. Definitely, um, definitely a little harder. Just having more of those nerds walking around made it made it a lot tougher, you know. A crown fountain, a softly weeping fountain. Ah, screw you, Leshy. Bones, please. Thank you. Sad. Hmm. Do you not worship me? Do you not give offerings in hopes of gaining my favour? When you return to your cult, you shall find a new offering chest. There you can find offerings that I and my generosity shall turn to gold, so that you may strengthen the cult. I'm not easily satisfied. The same gift offered too frequently causes the price to be lowered. Yet fear not, over time it will grow in value once more. Give me proper tribute, you shall be rewarded. I wonder what kind of things they want. Just general resources. Ah, I wondered what that little spot was for, actually. <laughs> okay. Let's fix the bed. I feel this should be a quick way to do this. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh, right, yeah, of course. You're welcome. Don't worry about it. Right. Oh, I've got a little bit over here. Got uh, got some pumpkins, which is cool. Keep planting those. Okay, food we need, first of all. Got quite a few recipes now. No. <laughs> um, I mean, the berries are always good. What else we got? Make a fish meal. Oh, 
feast, my brethren. Feast and be merry. Can you build another sleeping bag? Actually, mm, yeah. Hmm. What I was hoping is that I have enough faith to get to find inspiration. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Because <laughs> I want to get the uh, the shelter. I'm gonna upgrade. What's that? Cool. So, okay. Follow a meat. <laughs> Do I want to? <laughs> I don't think I want to feed. It's okay. It's okay. Don't wanna f I don't think I want to feed them back to themselves. All right. Anyways, I need stone for that. How do we not have any? Oh wait. Do I need to loot this? There we go. Good job, guys. Honestly, that th those little mines are very good. Um. Can I like replace? Ah, yeah, I can that. Oh, that's great, actually. That's actually, I was a little concerned about that. That's really, really useful. Um, I also need to build another one because we've got only. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> so tiny little bit short. I need some stone. Can I work in this? No. Is there actually any stone anywhere? Stone, please. Did someone leave fertilizer? <laughs> Oh, it's embarrassed. It's okay, Philly. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, there's actually no stone anywhere, so I kind of have to wait at this point. Rather annoyingly. I'm going to have to build a sleeping bag, then. Alright, I've got to remember that stone is important. Now we need more of it. Right, this is going to take a while. I'm not very excited about that idea. Let's let's get this new guy in first. Teacher, please spare me. Yeah. Okay, your name is going to be... You're a cow. Who's a cow? <laughs> so I have to be very careful what I do now. I'm going to try to alternate a little bit between who I'm putting in here. Um... Um... Hugo. Hugo is a cow. Everyone knows that. There we go. I love it when they're culty. <laughs> Work and devotion generation speed reduced by 10. Heals 15%. Okay, whatever. Welcome to the cult, Hugo. Ah. Right, let's get these bloody meds made. It's going to take absolutely ages, <laughs> but needs must. They look cool though, these little teepees, wigwams, whatever you want to call them. Uh... It's, only, it's only Hugo needs a bed. It should hopefully make it a little easier for me to keep track of them all, because they're quite hard to, to know who's who, right? Oh, I know, there's no bed guy. Look, I'm trying to help, I am. Just, just keep building a little bit longer. And you could all have a bed. Don't just, you know, if we just work a little bit more. Now I have to build them all on my own. It's going to take a billion fucking years. You know what? I'm not doing this. They'll get over it. I'm going to finish this one because I've kind of committed. There you go. Uh, I think I need more farm plots. I feel like I need more berries. Getting a little low on food. Uh, how do I make farm plots? What do I need for farm plots? Oh, I can make quite a few of these. Okay, we're gonna kind of for the area around there. And the other thing I need is a grain silo. Uh, 14 lumber. No, not that. I've already got that. That one? Yeah, I need stone. I need 10 stone. 
But if I put them there, then they'll automatically plant and they'll automatically... They'll do everything, basically. Um, okay, I'm going to let them sleep. I'm going to go check out this other area that we haven't been to. The fishing bit. Pilgrim's Passage. Lots of berries. Which is cool. What's this? Sold out. Unlocked follower forms. Okay. Odd. Hey, fish boy. Well, look what the tide dragged in. You're very aggro, aren't you? What are you just standing there? Think I'm going to fish for you? I'm not one of your mindless acolytes, but you could be if you tried harder. I love your sweater. Okay. Oh. Get it. I got the big one, like, instantly. I'm a pro fish boy. Look at it. What a caught. Not so useless after all. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things that a fish like me, a fisherman like me, has no use for. But to you, well, you look like you like valuable things. Below these waves lurk some of the hardest to catch beasts that ever lived, and I've been trying for years. If you can snag them, these treasures are yours. Catch me a crab, a lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Take this as a suggestion of good faith. Oh, I got a new tarot card. Nice. Enemies have a chance to drop a fish. That's cool. I actually like that one. Neptune's Curse. Well, got you a lobster. Lobster! Very good, very good. As promised, he's a bit of something. What is that? Oh! This is how we get those things. There's only four of them. Maybe it's not the only way to get those things, but it's how we get those things. Oh, hello. Oh! <laughs> it's an axolotl! <laughs> Wah! Who dares enter our sacred house of light? Apologies, it's just that the lighthouse is getting dimmer no matter how hard we worship and the ships keep sinking on the rocks. No ships means no new pilgrims to walk the sacred path. If only our leader was here, she would know what to do. <laughs> we have not seen her since she went for a walk on the pier late one night. We begged her not to go, we all know of the teeth in the darkness, which she would not listen. Now we have no choice to pray, but to pray until the lighthouse is lit once more. All hail the mighty light. Okay, so I need to add fuel for that lighthouse. I'm a little low on my own resources at the moment, so. Okay. Interesting. Time for a sermon. What's up, Hugo? <laughs> what do you want? Should we let them. Oh. Recruit sick followers. How? <laughs> oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure. They die, they die. Please spare me. And it's a hedgehog, which is perfect because I was meant to name the less hedgehog. So, Sagasol, you get to be a hedgehog now. As needed. Bit of a rubbish hedgehog. <laughs> right, so you're sick. How does that affect my life, though? Okay, well, you need to rest. Bed rest. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. Uh, we need to build more beds. You, you get away from my... <laughs> Phil Apprentice, what are you doing? <laughs> I do feel like I need more workers, you know? Like, I kind of want to just pop these here and then leave them. And let, let the guys handle it. Stone. Stone really is the big thing for me right now. Uh, right, let me make the beds before I do this. Um, surely that'll be better for them than what they're doing right now. Two more beds. I don't even have enough lumber for that. Struggling a little here, folks. Right, yeah. One sec. So this is for Hugo. This is for Sagasol. Hoping Sagasol go to the bed and rescues it. Now we need one more because I'm going to get this new one. I don't want them to 
bed rest on the ground, you know? I am low on resources. Hey, hello! Oh, look at the little heart! <laughs> Who is this? Jamma Jaws. Jamma Jaws my, my lad. He really is. With me since the start. My OG. I'll upgrade all these eventually. Not quite yet. Okay. I've probably got too many people with faith. Then again, what else are they going to do? Please spare me! Ah. Okay, you're a cat. And you shall be called... Mm, Driscoll. I'm just picking people randomly for my list. What have you got? Zealous ignores dissenters when they preach. Well, that's worrying. <laughs> Generates devotion slower. Well, I've kind of got a thing to can't write that, don't I? Huh. Look, you've been blessed. I know you're ill, but my blessing will heal you. I knew you could do it. You truly are divine. Thanks, Hugo. <laughs> you're a good egg. Well, not really. Okay, so this goes to Driscoll. There we go. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay. The thing is, I don't need money, so we don't need to do that. I do need to cook. Getting a little low on resources. Definitely need to get that berry one up. The one that'll... The, the silo, what do we need for that? Nothing I can do now, I'm sure. I need nine more lumber, eight more. I need to build the lumber yard, I think, first, maybe. Because I don't think we're generating lumber at this point anymore. So I need 15 lumber. Okay, 15 lumber. We'll, we'll try to build a couple of lumber yards. And I'll have two of those going, I'll have two of these going, and hopefully that way will at least generate something. Now, clean up the poop. Things are okay. We're in an okay situation. Will you just go to bed, Driscoll? <laughs> bed rest. Till no longer sick. You're not allowed to arrive and then die, <laughs> okay? <sighs> oh, gosh. Kids these days. Can't take them anywhere. Okay. Necromantic weapons. Chance to summon dangerous ghosts. Okay. My problem with that one is that it's probably useless on bosses. And that tends to be the kind of thing I ignore. But it is what it is. Oh. Um, we should have a new one of these we can do now. Lovely. Oh, yeah, so this is what we're working towards. Uh, these ones here. It's new clothing. Oh, they've got benefits and detriments. Damage dealt increases after each kill. Resets when hit. Take double damage. Ugh. Curses deal double damage, cost half the fervor. No, that's rubbish. Gain a disease tar every time a tarot card is drawn, but 100% of items will be lost if killed. All hearts will be replaced by 1.5 times the amount of blue hearts. I think the difference is you can't heal blue hearts, basically. Draw four tarot cards at the start of the run. I don't like any of these, I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> If there was like a melee damage increase further down one, I'd probably take that, but that's probably why there isn't one, because people would take it. Do I want to just... I don't really have like a, a theme for these, so let's go law and order. Punish sin or celebrate virtue. What? Murder? <laughs> Simple solution to many problems. I mean, can't I just... Oh, wait, maybe this is the centers that I can't sacrifice, and how would I get rid of them, basically? Or I can ascend them to a higher plane of existence. What ca It's like, what type of cult leader are you? Are you a ruthless one or a, a, a benevolent one? Murder follower sounds like it might be more useful. <laughs> I don't think I've got to the point in the game where I have to worry about it yet. But I have to think about what's going to happen down the line. The one on the right, all followers gain loyalty. That's great. But I think I'm going to take murder. <laughs> I have to be able to handle <laughs> every situation. 
And if that means slitting the throat of my follower in the night, if they dare, they... Look, I'll be benevolent. We can all have a lovely time. But if you mess me around and you start preaching your own doctrine or something, there's going to be punishment, you know? I think that's fair enough. All right, is anyone close to... Right, I've got to remember that, because that used to be where the blessing was over there. Now it's at the bottom, so I've got to keep that in mind, just in case I accidentally murder someone who uh, I'm meaning to bless. Okay, right, I need to buy a bloody scarecrow is what I need. Maybe I should be planting pumpkin instead, you know, now that I think about it. Keep working, boys. And girls, who are you? I'm Ducius. Yeah, I don't know. No idea about gender on this. Um, okay, so we know we need lump. I tell you what, I don't really want to go on another run anyway because uh, a little short time. We're going to go back to the coast. Get some lumber there because there's a few trees I saw. And uh, God knows we need it. If I get the 30, that would be fantastic because then I can buy... A couple of lumber lards. Lumber lards. A couple of lumber yards. I'm not even going to get to the 15 that I need, however. So I think I'm probably going to have to go on a run in order to get this lumber. What time is it? We've got nine minutes. Ah, oh, mining. Blessed mining. Blessed, blessed mining. And a tree, actually. Might just get enough. Just need 15, baby. Fifteen babies. That's all anyone needs. Sixteen. All right. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. I don't know what that means. Maybe they sell some there or something. Let's, let's, let's throw out some food. Wait, what is that? Oh, mining. Resources didn't seem like a big deal early on in the game, and suddenly I'm like fairly desperate for them. <laughs> Ah, I mean, it's a good way to get food, though. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if, if am I is this always like the lobster because it's the same size, or how does this work? You know? Do I need to? What I'm saying is like, do I need to aim the reel at certain places to catch certain fish? You know what I mean? Also, I need a scarecrow. <laughs> I feel like it's just random chance, really. Oh, decoration, though. That's cool. Ah, new fo- Ah, oh, amazing. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm not aiming for anything in particular. I'm just kind of jamming it in, hoping for the best. Like all those lucky ladies out there. Got a squid. I've got a squid and another lobster. There's still two more that I don't have, though. Are they are they actually disappearing from the thing? As in, if I keep going, will I get them all? I've got a blowfish. There's only three fish left. So surely... I don't think they're respawning, you know. So I think I'll probably get them all if I just keep doing this. Not that I, he has a reward that I want, as it happens. <laughs> but I thought it would be useful. And hey, this is good for food at the very least, right? It's very easy. Oh. No, so I didn't get octopus or crab. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Okay, not totally convinced I'm gonna get... Maybe I would. Maybe the double damage doesn't matter and I'd want the bonus damage from me one. I suppose. That could be a thing. That would be the only one I think I'd consider, though. But we'll see how it goes. Right. Let's make sure the camp is all good, and then we'll save up an end. Looks okay. You two are nearly there. I do want to upgrade these. This thing is chock-a-block every time I come back. <laughs> it's fantastic. I probably have too many followers on it, in reality. Um, what did I want? I want, I want everything. I want the Scarecrow. <laughs> 
Seems so unnecessary, but it's important. What else have we got? Harvest Totem. Okay, growth speed, that's cool. Fertilizer, that's what I want, the fertilizer silo. Some two demons. Some two followers. Toilet, that's a good idea. A healing bay, that's cool. Okay, I, I, I want everything. <laughs> Building that allows followers to clean up their own mess. Yeah, that'd be good as well. Rituals cost 50% less. That's huge as well. What the, uh -huh. Better Lombiard. That's cool. Bumbakin! <laughs> as soon as they come to work on the farm, they stick a little farmer hat on instantly. It's kind of adorable. Um, yeah, I want to. Right, there's a few things I want to do. So, build. How do we edit building? There we go. This, I'm going to move to here. It seems like a really good idea. And um, we're going to build a lumber yard. I'm desperately lacking in lumber and all resources in general. Is that going to clip that? It's not, is it? If I put it there, then the other one can't go there, and that'll make me sad. Oh, it's actually so annoying. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so in that case, I'm probably not going to do it at all. We'll probably stick them back and maybe just put another one in the middle. I'm just going to put that there. It's fine. get this built. Oh, he's praying for me. See? Already on the tabernacle. Although, I think I maybe would rather him actually focusing on the mining, it must be said. I don't need the faith. I feel like I'm flying up with the devotion and stuff like that. I need them to bloody get me some resources, the slackers. I do like that they're instantly in there, though. Saga sauce no longer ill. Nice. Can I assign you to something else? Is that a thing I can do? Fergree, you're going to be my farmer, okay? There's nothing to do, right? Well, I mean, you can go do that. Oh, okay. Please don't judge me. I've always wanted to eat a meal made of poop. <laughs> will you help me satisfy this dark desire? I will indeed, my friend. I can do that, I think. Um, I definitely saw one. Yeah, there you go. Deadly dish. Wait, 75% chance they die instantly? Okay, no, that one, that one. <laughs> it says minus 20 faith, but surely that won't be the case. Right? If you lose faith from this, there's gonna be trouble, bucko. You eat that for you. <laughs> Get it down, you. <laughs> Okay, ate some poop. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> okay, right. I need the scarecrow next. How's the scarecrow gonna go? 25, man. It's so expensive. I think it's probably worth buying another young lumber yard first. They take ages though. Look at them. Trees do grow though. Look. This is taking so long to get one. Ah, oh, whatever. Um. Okay, yeah, Hugo. Oh, Driscoll, even, I should say. Okay, anyways, we shall end it there. Next video, then, we will... We're going to head out onto the next level of the thing. Hopefully get some more resources by the time we get back. While we're out there, if we see a lumber part of the level, we'll go for the lumber task this time around. And we'll probably go for the stone one as well. I think I'll just need to, like, stock up in general a little bit. I want a couple more... I think I want another two lumber yards and another two stone mines, and that way at least I'm constantly generating them. Um... And we need to make a scarecrow. I kind of want to get the farm automating a little bit more as well, so there's always food. Hopefully I can get them automating their food 
production as well. <laughs> this is turning to Infinifactory or something, but we'll get there in the end. Thank you for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.